Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this pick an envelope like game show slide that will allow you to add some envelopes on one slide and then you can pick them based on your user feedback. Okay, there is free PowerPoint file for you to download. Link is in the description so you can download this right away and start using it. But I encourage you to stay tuned and watch this video first. So you will know how to modify this file. Okay, I'm going to start with shape. This is my rectangle. I will need one more shape. This time triangle. By combining these two shapes I can create this little envelope icon for myself. So I'm going to recolor them. I don't need outline, so no outline. This one should be a little bit brighter. And I can rotate this one and drag, put it at the top of the rectangle. And here it is, very simple envelope. Now double click on the rectangle. It will allow us to put text inside. So we can put question, price, whatever we need for our learners or our audience during our slideshow. Let's say this is for education. We got some math problems inside envelopes for our students. We can use it both in class or during the online learning session. Really handy trick. Okay, so we got some problem inside the envelope. Now I want to hide it. So are you going to use the same color for the font as for the background? It's still there, we just cannot see it. Now moving to animation panel, and here in animation tab, we got three kinds of animation. Intro, green, outro, red, and also special effect with yellow color. And it's what we want to use, this font color thing. So I add this effect called font color, and now I'm adjusting the effect option to be white. So after I play this animation, the font color will change to white. It will become visible. My trigger is when I click on this rectangle. Let's give it a go. So I will play this slideshow now. I cannot see what's inside the envelope. And after I click on it, I got visible question. Okay, nice. So as you can see, this is already usable thing. I can just copy and paste, duplicate this one, change colors of envelopes, and then we got few envelopes on one slide. You can ask your audience which one they pick. You can open, click on them for them. They can answer the question from the envelope they pick, or you can put some prizes inside, whatever you like. So this is already usable form. I will just show you, I will just create two more duplicates. As you can see now, I'm changing colors for them. It's quite important to have different colors. This is the easiest way for your audience to recognize different envelopes. Okay, and this one at the bottom. So I copy after I create all animations. I don't need to do it again. I can just change colors and they will be working just fine. And same color as the background. Okay, so the content is invisible. Let's give it a go. As you can see here in animation paint, I got all animations ready to use because they were copied together with the shape. No problem here, we don't need to do anything. Okay, let's give it a go, play a slideshow. We got three envelopes now. I click on this one, reveal the content, click on this one, reveal the content, and click on this one, reveal the content. So my trigger is click on the rectangle. Then the font color changed so I can see what's inside. It's already usable thing. You can go with this. But now in this video, I'm going to show you more advanced way. We will go with extra mile now. I'm going to add some nice animation to it. Okay, so I delete additional envelopes. I will continue working on this one. As I mentioned, this is just some extra stuff. So we're going to create some kind of envelope opening animation. So 
so this top part should become darker this is like inside the envelope after we open it so I'm adding animation here the special one from the yellow section okay and now I'm going to create additional triangle to simulate that the envelope is open we need ch so change the color fill okay like this to match the envelope and now I need to add animation to it. This time, intro animation. I want this to appear and send a moment. So, this is intro, this is the green section. And we should pick stretch. Stretch. And now we can modify effect option over here. We want to stretch from the bottom. Like this. Can you see that? It's like opening up. We can adjust duration to 0 0.75 and now I'm working on this animation panel on the right side take a look I need to change the order of my animations so the first one first click it's open second click darker and third click the letters appear okay it's working I just need to modify the triggers now so I just click one time and all three animations will happen one by one okay so for now I got all under the one trigger I need to click on the rectangle for each animation we need to change that so the first animation should be the envelope is opening so we're talking about this triangle 14 So I drag this under the trigger when I click on the rectangle and this one here. Okay, so the first one is on click. And the second one, I will need to modify this one with previous. And now it will start exactly the same time. And this one, the last one will be after previous. So we got three different animations, but we click only one time. Let's take a look. I click only one time. Nice, much better. So the envelope is opening and in the same time this triangle inside is changing the color to darker. But I think it's not dark enough. I will need to modify that animation. So I will change from effect with darker. I will just go to fill color effect. This way I can select exact color I want for this element. So it will change color to this one, I like this. Okay, so we got this three animation, but they are triggered with one click. I need to click on the rectangle. Now I can simply select it all, Control C and then Control V or Command C or Command V on the Mac, and I can make copies. This way we can create this illusion of interactivity in our slideshow. We can ask our viewers to pick one envelope. There is some question inside or some problem or surprise for them. It's really nice activity. Okay, so we got six envelopes and now as you may guess, I just need to change colors. So let me just speed up this video for a moment. I'm going to recolor my envelopes and then I will show you the final result. Okay, now I got six different colors. Now is a good moment to adjust to adjust the text color as well. Now I can see my orange text easily, so I will adjust the text. I will adjust what is inside the envelope before I change the color of the font to match the background. Okay, remember we need to use the same color for the font so we can hide the message inside the envelope. And then we are using animation to change the color of the message to white and it will become visible thanks to that color change. So you can simply select the text, modify the text, 
and if you are happy with the new message you need to adjust the font color If you get longer questions, you can just simply reduce the font size. And now the last step by changing the color of each text to match the background of the envelope. So they are still here, they are just in the same color, so we cannot see them. Okay, I'm going to test it out in this form now. So let's do a quick test. So slideshow played from current slide. We got six envelopes. I'm going to click on them. So the animation is working. The message is appearing on the envelope. There's only one problem here. I did not change the inside triangle. So it's become orange for all envelopes. I want this color to match the envelope, so I'm going to change it now. I will need to go to animation panel. We got multiple animations now, so we must be really careful to select the correct one. So I can see all of my animation on the right side of the screen. I'm using this fill color effect. But I set up this for the orange envelope. It's, my, it's why I need to modify this for each envelope to match the color. Okay, so this is the second animation. The first one, we got opening animation. Second is the inside triangle is changing the color. So I click the second animation for each rectangle trigger. Here we got the green one. So I can just change effect option to green and I can see the preview on the screen so I know it's the one. Okay, move to the next one and same thing, just change effect option to green, sorry to blue this time. We got three more. And the last one. So I end up with six envelopes with different colors with nice animation that we got this opening animation and then the message appear on them. And to trigger, we just click on the rectangle in the envelope. Do not click on the triangle at the top, okay? Be careful. You must click on the rectangle. Nice, seems it's working well. Okay. As I mentioned before, you can just simply download this PowerPoint file. Link is in the description, so you don't need to do it yourself from scratches like me. You can just simply download this file and then you can modify what is inside the envelope. You can delete envelopes, you can add your own envelopes to it. Now you know how to do it, how it works. So, link is in the description. If you find this useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, see you in my next tutorial.